part of my artistic process is, yes, this idea of uh, cutting and, and painting on a surface, cutting the surface, building this you know, work of art. But I have to tell you, the process normally starts with what we call a thumbnail sketch, a small sketch, just a basic idea. My artistic process is that I, um, I have to be inspired. And then after I go through the process of being inspired, I become overwhelmed. I feel this type of spiritual, mystical feeling about a piece, particularly abstracts, because abstracts are so fluid, they are so elastic, they give us a chance to just really see beyond what we see on the canvas. They give us a chance to really explore that artistic world that uh, many of us are so far from. We say that, oh, what is that artist trying to say there? Or how, or wh what are they trying to say? It's not always the idea of what they're trying to say, but how do you feel about this? My artistic process is listening. Bring myself down in, into a state of openness so that I can like really receive what it is that I'm, I'm wanting to express. Nanette Carter's work, it has this background in who she is, this art, is so relevant to our present time that she is constantly searching who she is, her who-ness, to find out who she is. In this abstract way, she is giving us a combination of her biography and her mystery and her history and her herness to find out a solution or a resolution to our present situation. The response that I created uh, for the poem, uh, Cantilevered. It was, uh, it was really about how do I effectively communicate the words that I'm, I'm hearing? Like, how do I feel? Um, what, what movements, what motions have I experienced that I feel communicate this clearly? I wanted to be able to look at the movement myself and get some kind of feeling of what those words were without necessarily knowing the words verbatim and a, re like in a, in a way to like recite. If anything, I wanted to like recite the poetry with my body and my, the, the memory of the words. tell the story we hold up, we mold and cast, we shape, we shape from the 60s, from the 70s, from the 80s and the 90s in our new revolution, in our new evolution, in our evocation. Mama was a dancer, mama was a sewer, mama would sew and she would use her costumes as weapons. Mama cooked and clean and church and gave us mama, mama and daddy. Mama and daddy held us together, Nanette. Told us to make art, told us to start like King, like Malcolm, like Mega for ourselves, for our Southern selves, for our nation we put it together, for our children, for our children's children. Mama could fly. Daddy could fly, so I have to fly. I have to use my fingers as weapons. I have to use my creation as weapons. I have to use my blackness as weapons. I have to use my righteousness as weapons. I'll fly back. 
I am before I am. I'll start. I'll plan my monument. I'll woman make. I'll woman make. I'll heaven sake. A piece of this, a portion of this, I'll collage, I'll collage, I'll collage a piece of quilt like Ringo, like Romare, like Carrie Weems, like Nanette. I'll cantilibra, I'll cantilibra, I am a holy believer, I am a deliverer, I am a holder, a bearer, a heaven load sharer. I'll cold train, I'll cold train, I'll believe it. And I will believe it for Nanette Carter. All of us responding sort of, you know, to this, this piece, these, these works, Cantilevered, uh, in our own way, in our own vocabulary, um, but also bringing new information and, and a different slight interpretation, too. Again, bringing in our own experiences uh, to our work while we're looking at this piece. It's, it's just something that's going to be natural. And again, even a viewer who's not going to respond in a poetic way or is going to look at a piece of art, but also try to pull out the experiences that they've had and how it reflects in the work of art. <laughs>